Okay, folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to field strip, take apart the standard eight round magazine for the Smith and Wesson Shield EZ 9mm. A lot of people moan and groan about these things because they're only eight rounds, but you can get a higher capacity magazine and they come in 10 and 12 round mags from. Pro mag and in a future video we're gonna go over one and I'm gonna show you a little bit about it so basically this is 10 round mag or I'm sorry the eight round mags as you can see it's marked on here all the way up to eight rounds and it has these guides on here okay that allow you to load it up pretty easily okay and along with that it causes the slide to hold open once you fire off the last round. So, as you can see, here's my 9mm shield, EZ. And if you take the slide, you see it's pretty easy to pull open. But if you slide the mag, there's no rounds in there, nothing in the chamber. If you slide the magazine in there, and pull back on the slide, you can see it locks it open. And the reason for that is because of the pin right here on the magazine. Okay, so we're going to set the pistol aside here. And I got these piece grips, okay. They're made specifically for the 9mm Shield EZ, okay. One of the things about this, when you have the magazine inserted, okay, and if you look, you can see that down here on the bottom, there really isn't a lot of extension for when you're gripping, you know. You, you don't really have a lot of room. So, with this, it will allow a little bit more room. So, first off, we're going to field strip. You need something pointy. And right here on the bottom, you can see there's a little pin, okay? So what you, and you want to be careful when you're doing this because the spring that's in here will push the base and it'll go flying and you'll be rooting around trying to find it. I've had that happen several times. So the idea is get your thumb ready. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to push down on that and that gets it started. As you can see, we're separated a little bit here so what i'll do is pull it back a ways and then get it loose and it pops right out now we'll take that off set it aside and just save it for another time this is your base plug inside then you have your spring okay then you have the center piece here now how you would take this out once you get to this point all you need to do is just push this out and this is the part right here that locks the slide back. So if you took that out in a, to make this maybe, let's say, nine rounds, if you was going to modify it, and you put this back together without it, and you could, the slide will not lock open. Okay, so there's your disassembly. And when it's time to reassemble, then all you want to do is just get that started in there. And you want to take this, slide it in here like that. Okay, and once you got it slid in there, then you're good to go. You can slide that all the way up. Take your spring and put it in there. And you get your base plate. And that goes on there. And if you notice, there's a little notch right here on the end. If you get it set into that notch, okay, then you can start... Your base plate see what i mean about it going flying and it, it does fly so you got to be careful about that all right let's let's try this again here okay so you're gonna put that in there and you're gonna line up the notch okay then take your your base plate and get it started and then if i push this in it'll clip in and it'll stay but we're going to install the piece grip here. So 
we're gonna pop this out. And this is the grip. And as you can see right here on the bottom, it says piece grip. PG9 EZ. So that's for the 9mm EZ. If you have a 380, it won't work on here. If you have for any of these are specifically designed for the handgun that you're using for. So once again, we're gonna pop this out, set that aside, then we're gonna take the piece grip, we're gonna slide it right on there and push it till it clicks. And there you are clicks in place okay so now we got it installed on there looking good and now let's go ahead and pop this thing in and take a look at it and there you are okay now you got a little bit of extra grip room on this thing okay whereas you didn't have it before you now have a little bit of grip room so there we go that's it that's how to field strip and how to install the piece grip on the Smith & Wesson Shield EZ 9mm. Thanks for watching.